Hi YouTube, real quick before I return this book to the library, I wanted to do a quick review. It's called Moonshell Beach and it's by Nancy Fair. Okay. And it was interesting. It um felt like the kind of book where sometimes you felt it was slow, but other times you're like, whoa, guess not. Um it's about these two women who start off as youngsters and they're best friends and they um find the secret beach that no one else finds on Nantucket because they were small enough to climb, climb through the bushes and things and they found it. And it's their secret beach where they always tell each other the most private, most important things at this beach. It's like their special place. And they nicknamed it Moonshell Beach. They grow up and they change and they separate a little bit. Um, and then they all end up back in Nantucket. And it has twists and turns with, you know, residents of Nantucket, um, passing away or, or being missing on, um, on the ocean and opening up shops on Nantucket with the seasons of, um, you know, the tourist season and things. And it's very interesting. So uh, I would recommend reading it. It was a nice read. I hadn't read anything by her before. Um, and I guess she's the best selling author of the Hot Flash Club. I might try that out. Um, I didn't find, like, sometimes when you read books, you're like, they, they skip around and you're like, where are we now? Are we in the past? Are we in the future? Where are we? Well, in this book, she just kept it going and she said what year they were in. Like, it would say, okay, 1993, 1997. Um, so some things were skipped right at the beginning, but then the story caught up with itself around, like, the end of the 90s. And it was very well, well written. I liked it a lot. So I would recommend checking this book out. Not one of my top favorites, but it was an enjoyable read, okay? Um, for those of you who enjoy, it says, Lexi Laney and Claire Hart grew up together swimming in the surf, riding remote bike trails, and having wondrous adventures across picturesque Nantucket. And when it was time to share intimate secrets and let their girlish imaginations run free, they escaped to their magical private hideaway, Moonshell Beach. But nothing stays the same. With the complicated pressure of adulthood, their intense bond is frayed, hurtful, world, hurtful words are exchanged, and Lexi flees Nantucket to a life of luxury while Claire stays behind. Ten years later, a newly divorced Lexi returns to make amends with those she left in her wake. Living at home with her father and dating a gorgeous carpenter, Claire still simmers with the resentment towards her glamorous friend. And when Lexi opens an upscale clothing boutique next door to Claire's chocolate shop, their paths are fated to cross. The childhood friend's emotional reunion is beset with a major challenges. Lexi's return sets off a series of startling events that fractures the status quo and sets town gossip's tongues wagging. Lexi wonders if the happiness and peace they once knew on Moonshell Beach will, in the end, prove to be as fleeting as time in the tide. In the turbulent adult world, awash in failed loves and romantic disappointment, can childhood dreams still come true? Irresistible reading Moonshell Beach explores the evolution of a tumultuous lifelong friendship, the powers of forgiveness, and the rewards of believing in miracles. And um, her writing is interesting because it's obviously all about Nantucket and the beach and things like that. So, you know, where I just read it says it's um, a turbulent, awash, things like that. She does use a lot of words, descriptive words that are um, beachy, which is fun. And um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. Oh, my only problem, like, I think this is a personal issue, was that Lexi and Claire, I kept forgetting, like, who was who. I'm like, okay, is Lexi the the one with the boy, is she the one with the, with the famous, is she, like, I had to keep, like, reminding myself who Lexi was and who Claire was. I don't know why, their names are so different, I should have been able to tell them apart. But, other than that, that's my review. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to sharing more with you soon. See ya.